The Director General of the World Health Organization and Presidents of Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia will meet Friday to launch a $100 million response plan to the Ebola virus outbreak in West Africa. The plan is part of an intensified international, regional and national campaign to bring under control the outbreak that has killed more than 700 people in the three affected countries. The response plan includes strategies to stop transmission of the Ebola virus in the affected nations and strategies to prevent the spread of Ebola to neighboring countries. The plan also determines the need for several hundred more personnel to supplement treatment facilities in the affected countries. Hundreds of international aid workers are already supporting response efforts, but according to the World Health Organization, more clinical doctors, nurses, epidemiologists, social mobilization experts, among others, are urgently needed. Meanwhile, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warned Americans to avoid non-essential travel to the Ebola-stricken nations. So the risk to travelers is both from the infectious disease, Ebola, but also from the unstable security situation that has resulted in these countries uh, because of the anxiety and unrest related to the response to the outbreak. And in particular, because of the spread of the outbreak and the unrest where we don't really know what's going on on the ground, uh, we can't be specific about telling people which areas of the country might be safe than others. The travel alert is the agency's most serious at level three, indicating high risk to travelers. The last time the CDC issued such a warning was in 2003 because of the SARS outbreak in Asia.